Good evening, YouTube. Jack Vader back here again alongside the main man Mando, as always. And in the house tonight, up in the game room, we have his friend, General Grievous. So, uh, as you can see, we got Grievous here in the house. So, uh, what we, 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 we had planned to do originally was uh, we had this uh, Big Bad Toy Store delivery. So, we we're going to do a Big Bad Toy Store unboxing. But um, I had these guys out today. We did some hunting, did some pickups. So uh, we picked up a few items. Grievous picked up a few things. Mando picked a few things up. Some of them not Star Wars. He didn't want to show them, but uh, I talked him into it. So uh, we're about to get into that in a second. But uh, I just wanted to say uh, thanks to everybody for uh, supporting the channel. We just recently passed 150 subscribers, and I owe it all to you. And uh, with that said, uh, let's crack right into it. All right, Mr. Grievous, tell us what we got here. Tie Interceptor, Vintage Collection, is that not? Yes, sir. Awesome. Good pickup, man. So, uh, go ahead and set that down. Go on with this next one here. So, um, tell us what we got here, buddy. Uh, it's Kylo Ren's Tie Slicer. Kylo Ren's Tie Slicer. Well, that's good that you mentioned that. Go ahead and set that down. So, who's actually flying that thing? Kylo Ren. Well, let's talk about him. What do you got here? Uh, I have a black... Black, black edition. Black series. Yeah, black series. Black series. Black series. Black series. Kylo Ren. And he also has his face. Because of this place there. Awesome. That's when he in the movie when he was in the snow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, got a couple things here left for for for, for Mr. Grievous. So uh, uh, I'm gonna save the good one for for the last one there for the end. So tell us what you got here. A Hot Wheels. Push heavy on the camera. Assault Walker. Heavy Assault Walker Hot Wheels mini, mini miniature figure. Pretty cool. All right. Now this one, this one here, I want to go ahead and bring, let you do last because I know you was talking about this one. So go ahead and show the camera what you got, buddy. A Revenge of the Sith sneak preview, General Grievous. That's an excellent looking figure there. Oh, and so, it's a three and three quarters. And it's three and three quarters. And uh, th those in the know know that the the three and three quarters General Grievous that's uh, been to his collection, the, re the recent one that's out, is has, has climbed to extraordinary levels on the secondary market. So it's tough to get. So this was actually a really good pickup. Got it at a great price. So, uh, excellent pickup there, Mr. Grievous. Okay, so uh, next on the docket, we got what Mando picked up. So, let's go ahead and let's do that one. So, let's go with the Star Wars one first. Go ahead and tell us what we got here, buddy. So, I got my little Grogu baby on a little puff thing. So, so this is your favorite show, is it not? Yes, it okay. very much is. Obviously, your favorite show, that's, that's where he gets his, his, his handle from. And uh, love the character from the beginning. Got it. Got it. Got him going in Star Wars, and uh, really reignited my love for the series. And uh, so we've been having a lot of fun ever since. Okay, go ahead and set that down, and uh, go ahead and uh, tell us what you got here, buddy. So I got two bionicles. Okay, tell us, tell us what they're about. One. Cool, let's, let's set it down and, big, and open up like, like that. I'm guessing one. This is. I'm guessing they're both bad guys. Okay. So we got this one. Cool. Then this one, shows what it does. His head pops out. It's got some head popping action. That, that is pretty slick, man. All right, that's some pretty cool pickups, man. I know, right? All right, so go ahead and uh, cap that up, get that out of the way. Okay, guys, now let's crack into this big bag toy order. So I uh, got a pretty big box here. I don't know what's in here yet. Got the bubble wrap, so you know it's legit. So if any, <laughs> anytime, anytime someone's gonna do an unboxing. And uh, they open this thing up and the, and the bubble wrap's gone. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now, they already had, went, went through the box. Okay, starting off with this one here. Go ahead and show the camera. Okay, this is the six inch ser series uh, uh, classified G.I. Joe uh, uh, Crimson Guard. So I got probably 10 of these in the box. I'm not gonna break them all out. Uh, I uh, always wanted a troop build when, when I was a kid. Uh, absolutely was not gonna happen on that budget. But uh, as you get older, um, you know, you can make you can make whatever you want out of yourself. So we go ahead and get 10 of these now so we can actually have what we need to have. So uh, G.I. Joe uh, classified Crimson Guard. Go ahead and set that down. Okay, got, got a bunch of uh, vintage collection. You know I got some vintage collection coming, so we're gonna go through these pretty quick. Three and three quarters, go, starting with this one, Empire Strikes Back, the, uh, Best Being Guard, set that down. Go right through, set them down. Okay, then we got us uh, uh, three and three quarter Mandalorian Vintage Collection. Go ahead. <clears throat> TIE Fighter Pilot, S slide on through. Empire Strikes Back R2-D2. That was the one I needed, so uh, I got I got R2-D2 covered from, uh, from the original trilogy. 
Death Star droid. You can't get too far without a good Death Star droid. So we go ahead and uh, took care of that. Yeah, that is really nice. Go ahead, set that down. Uh, Return of the Jedi. Uh, this is Endor Han Solo with the trench coat. I probably got like three of these now because I found some uh, while I was out toy hunting, super cheap. And uh, so we're good on that now. Set that down. Okay. All right. More G.I. Joe classified. Uh, I got Dusty. Nothing more to be said about that. If you don't know, uh, if you don't know G.I. Joe, then you don't know Dusty. But he was one of the original guys from the Sumbo cartoon. So I uh, went and got him. Set so him down. Oh. Zartan's sister Zarana from the Dreadnoughts. Excellent figure. Go ahead and set that down. Now back to the Black Series archive. We got us an excellent looking C-3PO. Now this is probably one of my favorite lines of all time is starting to starting to become. So we got best of both worlds. So you got the three and three quarter looking card style, you know that you that you would get, but you got all the the, the detail of a six inch figure. So uh, man, these are really good. So. Uh, uh, go ahead and uh, check these out if you haven't already. I believe they're called the 40th, the 40th anniversary series, 6 inch series. They're basically this oversized uh, uh, three and three quarter scale vintage collection, and uh, man, they look great. So uh, highly recommend these. So we got, got the uh, another Endor <laughs> on Solo. We got a very underrated character, man, Lando Calrissian redeeming himself. Okay, and, that, and that's why I like this figure so much. You know, because because. Even as a kid, man, it was hurtful at the Cloud City. You know, you get there, you know, and come around the corner, everything's cool, he's talking, everything's great, you know, blah, 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 come around the corner. Now you got Vader and Boba Fett up on you, you know, and turn around, you got 13 stormtroopers, and you turn around to your buddy, and he's talking about, he got here right before you, what can I do? Man, you still say something, that's what you do. But he made a decision, and his decision got him to where he was at. Always redeemed himself, okay? So when I saw him here, Everything was good with me, so uh, uh, I always liked this version of, of of Lando. Very, very, very underrated, man. Getting it done, uh, uh, risking life and limb to let you know that he indeed had no options. Okay, let's go on. All right, so the Grand Moff Tarkin figure is a very, very good looking figure for one. So uh, two, uh, the uh, three and three quarter one has gotten pretty expensive as well. So I'll eventually come across that, but uh, since uh, this one was without, went in and picked that one up. All right, guys, coming to an end here. Uh, I know I just reviewed this, but this was the one I had on pre-order. I uh, found another one, uh, so I was able to get one a little earlier and able to get that, that review out to you last week. So this would be my second copy here. And uh, so, yeah, I got two of them now. I'll figure something out to do with this one. So go ahead and head on through there. And one I've been wanting for a while, Ultimate oh. Ultimate Warrior. No, I didn't stutter. You just got to know what I'm talking about. This is the Ultimate Collection, and this guy's name is Ultimate Warrior. So it's got to be the Ultimate Ultimate Warrior. So if you want <laughs> to describe this figure accurately, that's what you got to call that. So uh, just uh, one of my role models in, in, in the sport and uh, in, in bodybuilding and, uh, and, and, and one of the first guys that, you know, you, you saw on TV that was – that size, you know, that I, that I remember, you know, it was Schwarzenegger, Stallone, and, and there was this guy here, man, and this guy here was intense, so uh, that's going to go directly on my warrior shelf after this. All right, and... That is a really good figure, very massive. Very good figure. Last but not least, uh, one of my other loves, this is a third-party uh, Fans Toys Jive, but uh, really the, the character's name of the cartoon is Jazz, they just can't call him because of copyright. But uh, very, very uh, good figure, very cool, uh, very cool character, and uh, very cool, uh, high quality company. So, uh, Fans Toys Jazz, go ahead and set that down. All right, guys. So um, that was that was our pickups for for uh, I guess I guess the month or whatever. So that, that that was all we picked up this month, huh? Yeah. I think so. So I um, mean, I got a few three three quarter inches uh, figures here and there. But as far as uh, as far as the pickups and everything, that's that, that was what we got this week, and uh, we are all excited about it, are we not? Yes, we okay, are. Okay. So, what was your favorite one again? Um, my favorite would probably have to be the General Grievous. The General Grievous, obviously. So, uh, and, and and you? Grogu. Grogu, got to Grogu. Um, man, I, I don't I don't really have a favorite out of this one, man. Probably that that indoor bunker since that video is doing so well. 
All right, guys. Oh, no, let's go with that Lando, man. Yeah, I'm going to put that Lando right up there, man. Redemption Lando is what I call that. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, so uh, we got some more videos coming. Uh, got a lot going on. Uh, top Secret Project going on. I'm going to reveal that soon. Going to take a video uh, at the Top Secret Project place yeah. and uh, talk about that. So uh, more, more, more stuff coming, guys. Uh, more reviews. Going to do some lightsaber stuff. I got some lightsabers. To, uh, I just got really short on time. I'm not going to get one video out a week right now. But uh, you know, here shortly, I should be able to get some more stuff out. I'm going to try to get some shorts out in there, too. Uh, with, with that said, guys, as always, who wants to take us out tonight? Mr. Grievous? All right. So at the end of the video, we always say, may the force be with you. So tonight, you're going to do that, okay? So General Grievous, take us out tonight. May the force be with you.